Hey, John Dillon here with another exciting tutorial from visualbroccoli.com. Hey, in this lesson, I'm going to show how you can apply a color to a layer or to change a color. And the story behind this photo is I was putting a video, to video together and I needed photos that looked real but were in fact not real. And from time to time, I take photos during training. Well, training ends up being a great resource for me to get photos that look somewhat realistic. The problem with this particular photo is nobody was wearing gloves. And of course, a real scene, they would. Now, one could argue they should have, would, should have been wearing gloves during the training, but that's not really the point here. So what I did was is I went in and applied gloves. And it's really a simple technique. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna turn off this layer select the background layer, which is already selected, create a new layer. And I'm just gonna call this paint. You don't have to name it, it's just a visual. And I'm gonna go up here and change the blending mode of this layer and how it blends with the layer below it. So I'm gonna choose color. The next thing I wanna do here is let's go ahead and zoom in. So I'm gonna grab the zoom tool and zoom in nice and close here on the hands. And I'm gonna grab the paint brush tool and up here are my brush tool options. And I'm gonna keep pretty much everything the default, but if you need to change the size and diameter of the brush, you can certainly do it here. Uh, I'm using a soft edge brush and you can see here in the palette, there's also like here's a 300 size brush and it's soft. Here's a 19 size brush and that's hard. I'm gonna stick with the soft edge but another way to change the size of the brush is use the end brackets. The left will make it smaller, the right will make it larger. You'll find by using this, you'll save yourself a lot of time. You can do things on the fly. Now, with the layer selected and the blending mode changed to color, I can go ahead and start painting. And I'm just choosing a blue here that I selected. You can certainly change it to any color you want. And what it's gonna do is apply this blue to over the skin because it's on its own layer it's blending with the layer below it. And because it's blending, and I can make this a little smaller, getting closer. In fact, I probably should even zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Don't be afraid to get in there and close because it can kind of help you see, what you, you get a little better control with the mouse and you can see what you're doing. Look at that, we want to get right up to the gloves. sure get them all here so that's looking pretty good and because this is not going to sit up in a magazine cover it doesn't have to be precise I'm just giving the visual impression these people wearing gloves and to the average person it's going to look real and I can come up here and do these hands and so on and so forth if I want to do different colored gloves I can certainly do that as well but so happens everybody's using the same brand of gloves here on this rescue and this is working great now just let me finish this hand here Another thing I just want to show you real quickly here, I'm not going to do all this here, I already got a layer with it all done, is it, make my brush a little smaller, getting here at the fingertip, or the thumb. To move around, I'm just going to hit the space bar, and you see I get that helpful hand, now I can move around and let go of the space bar, and the brush is still there and I can continue on. That is pretty slick. So the finished result, this is the finished result, and let me go ahead and go to full screen here. That was the finished result once I get done on the hands. It only took me a couple minutes to do it. The one thing I did find though is just a little bit, the gloves just kind of grabbed the focus too much. So what I did here is I just dropped the opacity a little bit, like around 60, 63%. So just kind of softened the, the, the gloves up by changing the opacity or dropping it. So it blended a little better with the hands, and to me, it just gives it a little bit better look. Again, take a look at it, see what you think. And now I'm ready to save this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you ever find the need to paint gloves on, this is the tutorial that's gonna help you do that. Well, until the next time, I hope you always find unique ways to make your training more editable for your audience. Take care.